got to move quick. What is up, guys? Technicals here. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, but he did it again. Somebody stop him. T-Swift has just released the KSO Ultra overclocking firmware. So we're going to take a look at what the specs are, what's required, and uh, yeah, let's do it. And once again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, because uh, I'm going to be doing this to my KSO Ultra just as fast as I possibly can, but I wanted to bring the message to the people because I'm a man of the people. KSO Ultra overclocking firmware. This has been teased and it's been said that it could not be done because the encryption was too hardcore on this device. Uh, but T-Swift coming through again, coming correct. Link in the description below over to Swift Mining. Uh, T-Swift sells ASICs. He has the best prices on ASICs and he provides this firmware. So taking a look here, kind of in a similar vein to the KSO Pro, uh, there's gonna be several options available, uh, different uh, hash rates of firmwares that you can use. And a lot of that's gonna depend on your particular device, silicone lottery and things like that. Additionally, check the description below for all the hardware you're gonna need. If you're gonna wanna overclock this stuff, just like the KSO Pro, you're gonna have to do some cooling upgrades. You're gonna have to get an even beefier power supply if you wanna hit that big seven hundo. Link in the description below over to that because I got I got mine somewhere. It's a 330 watt uh, power supply, real gangster uh, baller shit. Uh, anyway, taking a look over here, KSO Pro stocks 100 watts at 400 giga hash. We've got a 505 at 150 watts, a 562, a 170, 618, so on and so forth. Two versions, license version, where you pay for the firmware outright. It costs 200 CAS at the time of this writing. I don't even know what CASP is worth. Is If CASP is 16 cents, uh, that would make it about $32. And according to T-Swift, as of right now, that's about a month to pay it back. Uh, you can also do a developer fee so that you, the firmware is free, uh, but when you mine, you're paying a half percent automatically off the T-Swift uh, for gracing us with this firmware. So those options exist. Again, link in the description below over to Swift Mining's uh, Telegram channel. You can download everything there. He has a readme file. I'm going to, again, I'm going to be putting together an overclocking and doing all the cooling mods to my Ultra just as soon as I possibly can, just to see if I can test this out and hit these hash rates. Uh, obviously, I want to go for the highest hash rate possible. And yeah, someone commented on my old KSO Pro video about, uh, you know, wouldn't it make sense to just buy another KSO Pro? I mean, if you want to do the math, man, but come on, this is the fun part. Tinkering stuff and building stuff is a fun part, man. Uh, but yeah, you can certainly do that math in there because it's not you're not going to get double the hash rate. Now, that, that's saying for right now. This could change. Upgraded firmware could come out because this came out pretty quick. And especially considering they said it could not be done, uh, it came out pretty quick. Uh, so anyway, if you want all the full detail, head over, link in the description below. If you want to go ahead and grab the parts, because today is Prime Day, I'm not sure if any of these parts are on sale, but that 330 watt power supply, just go ahead and get one. Don't cheap out. It costs more. It's, it's like a hundred something dollars. Uh, or you could get, you know, the 30, 40, 50 dollar version. Uh, but you're not going to be able to chase that 700 giga hash. And if there's another device in the future that uses it, uh, you, you just future proof, just buy it using my link. Give me some money. Uh, you'll also need a shroud, a fan. Uh, I can't sell the fan shroud because I didn't design it. But if you want to 3D print one yourself, there's a Thingiverse link over there. I suppose maybe I could print it and sell it at cost, cost plus or something like that. I don't know. Is that allowed? Uh, thermal glue, thermal paste, and copper heat sink. So I imagine, because last time when everyone was overclocking their KSO Pros, these heat sinks sold out. Uh, so you might want to jump on that. Go ahead and place your order. Get it in just so you have it like reserved. It's on the way. Amazon's going to be doing a lot of fulfillment over the next few days, I imagine. So go ahead, get it on. Check the links in the description below. Buy everything I tell you to buy using my Amazon links. And... Stay tuned because I'm going to overclock my KSO Ultra and I'm going to get that 700, baby. I'm going to get it. Uh, so again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to like this video and uh, I'm the technical. See you next time.